What's up guys? So I'm back again with the review of the Hushin Gan or the from the Singokuden line and uh please don't mind the noise outside as our neighbor is trying to fix their house or maybe renovate them. But yeah. So it's an SD and it was released this twenty eighteen. Had it done anything to it yet, just uh, built it and added some minor details, no panel lines and th such. So it is an exact same copy of the single Kuden Gyan that was released way back in 2010. And uh, I must say the quality is still the same, maybe a little bit better because their technology kind of improved over the past years. But uh, still looks cute and has some pretty basic articulation. So. Let's have a closer look. So here's the Fusion Gen. Uh, it has a couple of stickers. One sticker for the eye right there. A sticker for the chest. One, two, and uh, the waist. It actually has one, two, three, four, five, six stickers. So the line you see here on top of the waist. That line is actually a sticker. This wire here, gold line, including the inside the sticker. Sticker. I don't know why they added a sticker there, but uh, it's on the same color. Maybe they just got too lazy to cut this the outline. Maybe decided, oh, let's just go with a whole sticker there. And this whole part here, including the middle piece and the red symbols, is a sticker as well. And this yellow line here in the middle is a sticker. And uh, that's about it. And oh yeah. I forgot the back of the arms stickers as well and uh, I added some red details on the back skirt it's hard to see not very prominent but it's there okay. so stickers are fairly minimal but uh, I suggest using a toothpick or maybe a q-tip in pushing the stickers into the grooves especially on this one the front skirt because it has some scale details that uh, better if they are shown to the actual kit and same with the arms I used the toothpick there to push it in to the grooves okay so that's the basic look and this is pretty much the naked form and uh, it comes with this, 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 a cape, and this. Uh, you have a couple of pieces of armor to put into your onto your gun and uh, it will change it into a more Sengoku looking kit. So let's pick it. Let's remove the head and let's remove the backpack. So first up you have to add this. It's like the collar thing for the yen, the attachment of the cape. You put the cape on. It's tied around as it is it looks like it's being tied. And then you grab the backpack and then you reinsert it here nice and tight then you get the this parts right here shoulder part so make sure that the blade thing is on the front oh yeah and this is a sticker and this side has a sticker <laughs> then you go grab the back part and insert it onto the shoulder You know, and you just do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Attach it. And then the other one. There you go. It's almost done. You grab the head. You put this face plate on, or should I say... A crown sort of thing <laughs> in front of his face and go grab the top 
make sure that this the hair looking things are on the side and insert it to the groove on top of his head right there then you're done so this is the fusion gun it's fully armed mode and I must say it looks pretty good and uh, the gold here yes it is puke gold but uh, it does the job and uh, the cape adds more to the single cool looks of it including the faceplate well I think we should move on to the articulation now so the head can spin around 360 just make sure that this doesn't hit the collar the cheeks of it and then I can go can look barely look up because this part right here the back of the head hits the collar see can look down that far move side to side can't do the, really do the chicken because he is on a single ball joint arm wiggles move forwards back up and down shoulder armors can move up and the arm is on the ball joint can move up as well so the armor doesn't really hinder the articulation except for the head okay, rotate the hand is on the ball joint so yeah, easy pops up, but pops right back in. Can do a swivel. It's about on the upper half, and let's move on to the waist. The waist actually rotates 360. It's very surprising. Come to consider it has a cape, but uh, it can rotate 360. Uh, it's on the peg system, so it doesn't have a side to side or crunch or anything, unlike the some of the SDX standards but uh, still does the job the leg is on a ball joint and uh, one thing different about this kits is that if you look closely the leg it has some inner skeleton proto skeleton and you put the armor on top so that adds a little bit to the movement forwards and moves for that far back that far in and out a little some and then the foot are on the ball joint so it can rotate move up and down side to side not that much and uh, that's about the articulation of it so pretty decent for an SD kit and, uh, the joints it has are pretty much enough for the poses you might think of doing with it. And uh, let's move on to the accessories. You have one, two, three, four, five accessories. So, first up are the weapons. So, this one is a sight that's molded in some sort of gun mill color and uh, looks pretty nice so the way you put it the way he holds it is you remove the bladed part insert the handle to his hand ah, it's kind of tight okay make sure that this is Align to the orientation of the arm. Then you plug in the. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> see the ball joint on the hand are loose. Okay, so you put it there, and you can hold it. Pretty decent. Doesn't fall off or anything. And then it has a gimmick. You see this top part right here, the spear-looking thing. You can pull it out and can actually hold it as well it turns into a dagger and holds it pretty well it doesn't fall so that's one of the accessories let's look at the others
And the other accessory is the GAN shield. So it's molded in all red. So if you want it to look better, you have to do a little painting. Turn the insides gold. The little missiles gray. And keep the symbol in the middle or the insignia in the middle red. And uh, it comes with a basic handle. Rotates. Plugs into the arm and it has some three legs that are molded in gun metal. So you can throw it to cut everyone. Okay. So it plugs into his hand fairly easily, like the previous master grades. There you go. You can hold it. No issues there, it doesn't fall off and kinda look decent for him. So move on to the uh, <laughs> best part of the accessories, which are the three Zaku ones, also called as Bu Dui Bang, Bu Dui Bing. I'm sorry about that, butchered it. <laughs> Bu Dui Bing. So they are basically Zaku ones with flag on their backs, and uh, they're like glorified bricks. So let's have a look at one of them. Spin around. Get a little closer. So it, it comes all molded in one color, green. Three of, all three of them come in green. And uh, besides being a glorified brick, they have some articulations to boot. First up is each of them has a sword which uh, which comes in green as well and can be detached from the hand and actually you can make the gyan hold this but uh, let's not do it here and the shoulder is on a ball joint so you can move forwards backwards go out that far go in that out far spin around the foot is on a ball joint so it can rotate pretty much 360 Go up, go down, side before you pop off side to side, and uh, that's about it. And oh yeah, the flag, the bow flag actually rotates and and it can get removed from the backpack and uh, you can make your zakus hold it. Like so they would look like they're going for a battle and this guy is at the front screaming. <laughs> So you get three of them for a bonus. You get one, two, three. So the only stickers he has is actually on the flag on the side, the grey looking sticker there. It's just to hold uh, the piece of paper in place. So actually you get the paper for the flag inside the manual you have to cut it off and then uh, you got two stickers for the eye one side and the other with the actual mono eye and uh, they look pretty decent with a little bit of paint gold paint on the lines and uh, maybe silver on the sword they would look good and uh, they really look good together if you look at them in this manner have the gun there. We have three little thingies going. I think they would look better if you have more of the Zaku ones, the Budoi Bing. But yeah. All in all, the kit looks great. The accessories are great. It's a must buy if you are into the Sengoku Den line, which I am, and it's just released re-released recently with additional items inside each kit and I'm planning to get the easy 8 with the chariot and uh, I'll see you when we get there bye bye